All right, guys, so we're going to be talking about GBP, JPY. Um, I'm going to be showing y'all pretty much what happened uh, over the last couple of months with this pair and pretty much what I'm looking for it to do now. So as you can see, we practice coming on a downtrend for a pretty long time. Over a year, price was kind of steady, steadily moving down. Now, it was moving down, but, you know, we had some choppy movements. You know, market was kind of kind of consolidating in a way, but it's really been moving down for a while. Now, I'm going to talk about this move that I've been keeping my eye on for a minute now, and the move's actually still in progress. So right here, we can see we had price that started to come up again. I'll go ahead and circle. This is the consolidation and price is now starting to come up. Now, this is the daily time frame. Uh, I'm trying to get my camera to kind of focus on this, but we are on the daily time frame. So we're looking at a pretty long-term move here. But like I said, man, my strategy is a short-term, short-term entries, okay? I'm looking at entries on a 15 minute time frame, hourly time frame, five minute time frame. I'm looking for small short-term entries but these short-term entries have to perfectly match up with higher time frame concepts. You guys see what I'm saying? So if like price is on a major support and also it's forming like a reversal pattern and a few candlestick formations, then uh that's when I'll be looking to take entries on those smaller time frames. Because think about it. If you could get the perfect long-term setup, then all you have to do is, you know, risk the right amount and catch a very small move. Rather than, <clears throat> you know, trying to enter here and catch this whole move. No, man, you could just enter here. Stop loss really small on a short term time frame and catch like a small move that only takes a few hours to complete or a few days to complete. OK, so um, now I'm going to go ahead and get into what I've been looking at and pretty much how you can kind of up your accuracy with your trades. Now, I'm going to be using harmonics. And also reversal patterns, you know, support and resistance and stuff like that. So that's what I'll be using in this video to kind of teach y'all. Now, I'll be teaching all of this in my course once it drops. But as of right now, I'm going to drop a few gems for y'all. Kind of give y'all a little bit free information. Because like I said, I know a lot of mentors don't really give out a lot of free stuff. And don't, they don't teach for free and put content out for free like I do. So, you know, I really, I really, you know put a lot of effort into doing that for you guys so make sure you uh stay follow make sure you like the video and uh make sure you watch the whole video because for you to get a good understanding of it um you really have to watch this whole video you might have to watch it twice but uh yeah i'm gonna quit talking i'm gonna go ahead and get into pretty much what i was looking at so right here we had this consolidation this little zone right here was kind of a slowdown of the markets and we can see in the past let me just remove that now but we can see in the past, price was at this low. So what I'll do is, I'll get my horizontal line. You can see, price hit this low. And yeah, it's my dog barking, sorry about that. But price was near this low, so I was already looking for some buys here. And not only was price near the low, but price decided to um, go ahead and form an M. I meant not an M, a W, which is obviously a formation that we use for taking buys. Now this is long term, like I said. So just when we see the W, we're not gonna be looking for a buy, we're gonna be looking for that retest. Now, another thing I've seen is, I'll go ahead and get the W off the screen real quick. But another thing I've seen was a harmonic. Okay, we had a harmonic pattern form. I'm pretty sure this was a bearish bat pattern. Um, we can see this is a perfect harmonic. This harmonic literally lined up perfectly with the measurements, the tops, the bottoms, everything. So being we had this bearish bat pattern here, this will be our entry zone, okay? This will be our entry zone. Somewhere around here at the top of this bat, somewhere around here we'll be looking to in, like enter for a uh, sell. So basically what it will look like is you probably enter somewhere around here Stop loss will be a little bit above these previous highs. And take profit would be, um, I'll go ahead and pull out the fib lines to kind of identify that. 
take profit would be your 618. Now, the thing I noticed here is take profit didn't hit 618. Okay. It didn't hit it. But the thing about that is, is even if it didn't hit the 618, you should have still locked in some type of profits. So that's pretty much our first signal that we were able to get into a sell. Now, keep in mind, this W and this uh, bearish back pattern, this is a short term move. Okay. Even though it's 22 days for this move to play out, this was still a short term move. So we were able to catch a short term move with the harmonic. Um, and not only was it harmonic, it was a valid W with a retest. So what I'll do here is I'll get the Fibonacci back out and I'll connect to the top. And, uh, we can see that price formed a W pretty obvious. We have a W here and price came down now price was not, it did not come into the reversal zone. But somewhere around this area, we'd be looking for a W to form. Now, being that there's a W on a daily time frame, we're going to be looking for a W to form on a 15 minute. So, like, once price got around this area, we'd go to the 15 minute time frame and we look for something like this to present itself. Now, when something like that present itself, we'd be taking a buy on that retest and we look to, you know, catch a decent move up. Now, if you want, you can hold these trades for the long term and you could be in this. But me, I like to risk minimal amounts and find the best entries possible and catch a smaller move, like kind of like a short term reversal. Because a lot of times, like say we're on a 15 minute time frame, a lot of times the W will present itself. It'll hit you take profit. It'll kind of mess around and it'll just take a long time to actually get into the groove with a reversal. So that's why I just like to get in and get out my trades, okay? I'm, I make sure the trade's a perfect setup, like, every time. But I just prefer to, you know, catch these moves, you know, risking the, the right amount rather than, you know, waiting a very long time for these moves to play out. It's just the way I like to trade. But if you wanted, you could have entered here and caught the long-term move as well. Um... You'd be in that for about 44 days so far, but you can still kind of see what, what's going on here. So I'm going to just go ahead and get one quick recap. So this is what led us to enter. We had the bearish bat pattern and we were going to ride price down to the 618 level. So we caught this, this sell off move and we'd be buying from the retest of the W as well. So it's pretty much a harmonic that ties in with the W, which can really increase your trade accuracy. So you can see harmonic bearish, W bearish, and it retests almost perfectly. So like I said, you'd be looking for some type of information to form at the top of this harmonic. And then at the bottom of this move, you'd be looking for a W. So of course you get out your trade, you get out the sell around here and you get in for the buy around here. And that'd be a really good move. And a lot of people say, you know, the trend is your friend, this and that, you know, I don't, I don't know about all of that. You know, I, I've been trading for a few years and of course, small time frames, uh, the trend is your friend. Definitely. You don't want to buy against like you know, you don't want to buy against like something like this where price is just moving down fast. You know, you can't buy against that. But if you're looking at the long term time frame and price is just coming down, that doesn't mean you can't catch these these short term moves up. Because even though these moves, you know, aren't the dominant move, these moves are still catchable. You know, this is 800 pip moves right here, 500 pip moves like the market moves in increments. So you're going to see like a downward move, upward move, downward move, upward move, downward move. Okay. That doesn't mean you can't enter against this. And, you know, everybody teaches different. A lot of people are going to say they're right. You know, a lot of people are going to say this is the right way to trade. This is the wrong way to trade. And uh, I'm sure a lot of people could disagree with me. But, you know, that's perfectly fine. You know, this is what works for me. This is what led me to be profitable for so long. So, like I said, one more time, just to, so you guys can understand. 
W formation retest. Okay, and this is where we'd be looking to buy. We'll catch the upturn move. And we'd be selling off of the harmonic beforehand to catch this smaller move. So that's kind of why <clears throat> harmonics and this market maker method pretty much plays hand in hand. Because you could catch the smaller move and you could buy for the longer move. As long as you play it smart. Okay. Now... <clears throat> I'll go ahead and map out pretty much what was happening up here. Okay, this was consolidation. Price was consolidating up here. And it broke through. Okay, it broke through, broke through, hit the low, and it's coming up. Okay, so I'll draw another short term kind of supply and demand zones, but. You can see this is kind of what we have going on right now. And there's a lot of upward movements to show breakouts to kind of get buying momentum. But nothing's really came out yet. So it's kind of hard to say because these support and resistance, they aren't lines. They're actually zones that we can't even see. Like you could draw these lines out, but the actual support and resistance are areas, like huge areas. So what I can see happening is, let me go ahead and draw this a little further back. Cause you can see just because it's right here, you can actually bring it back and see that price has reacted to this level for a very long time. You can see right here, it acted as support. Right here is acting as resistance. And I'll kind of bring this back too. But um, yeah, what I can see happening is um, I could really see price breaking out for the upside for a decent amount of pips. I say it breaks out for about 200 to 300 pips. And once it comes up to this, uh, this resistance zone, I'm thinking that it's going to go ahead, just bounce off and the long term move is going to be down. Now it doesn't mean you can't catch this short term move, you know, being that price is on this resistance right here, I could definitely be looking for. W's or bullish harmonics to form on a smaller time frame. And I could go ahead and ride this move up because it's different when you're catching a, like a daily or weekly time frame move against the trend, uh, rather than catching like a, a, a hourly time frame against the trend. I wouldn't advise that at all. When you're on a 15 minute time frame, make sure that what you're trading lines up with what's going on on the four hour. Okay. So yeah, I'd be looking for some either a W or like some type of harmonic forming right here. And then once price gets up here, I'd be looking for a bearish harmonic to form. And I'm trying to draw a harmonic, but yeah, either a bearish harmonic to form or I look for a W to form on a 15 minute time frame. And that's if price breaks out. Price could just decide to come down right off of that because look, the long term move. We see that price has been moving down for the longest. So there's not much of a reason for me to think the long term move is really up. Um, of course, this could happen. <clears throat> price could come up to these highs as well, because you can see this is a previous level. So it doesn't mean this can't happen and it just blows through this zone and then does something like that. OK, and like I said, we want to enter on this. We want to enter on this. We want to enter on these important levels because that's what overall gives you the higher accuracy trades for the long term. But, um, yeah, guys, I hope y'all learned something new. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. It was another profitable week for us. I actually closed this week at about $3,500. Um, I only entered three trades, but hey, every trade was a winner this week. I can't complain. The course is dropping soon, by the way, guys. I'm really sorry. I've just been really busy with a lot of stuff, but I will have the course out very soon. I'll teach you guys exactly how I do this, okay? This won't be any type of fake, you know, bullshit and mentorship. You know, I'll be looking to actually teach you guys how to trade. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, that's pretty much all I got to say. You know, I hope y'all learned something new. I hope y'all have a great rest of y'all weekend. And I'll be making a post later, actually.